Hello! This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to turn a song into an image using a program like Audacity. So some quick background, one of my favorite ways to create glitch art is to import a s image into Audacity and edit it there and you get some really cool effects that way. And one day I figured out, I decided, you know what? You can edit a song, an image, uh, in a sound program. Why not try and edit a song in an image program? So first things first, uh, I learned how to do uh, the uh, Audacity image data bidding stuff from this guy here, uh, PVA Glue on YouTube. I love these videos. They're really short. Only about like a couple minutes. I'll put them in the description. I will share this. Yeah, I'll, I'll share this in the description. Uh, I recommend watching it because a lot of stuff I'm doing, all of the Audacity stuff, I directly uh, learned from this guy. But uh, essentially what we're doing is f uh, taking the song, clipping out the header for an image, and pushing it in front of the song so the computer thinks it's an image. So the first thing you want to do is pick what song you want. I'm going to do La Dida by Bill Wirtz. Now I've been using WAV files. You can use the MB3 file. Uh, you did it before. It works fine. I used MP uh, WAV files because I figured it would work a little bit better that way. Uh, you don't have to. And I try to keep things around the two to four minute length for the song. Uh, anything longer than that will end up being a really, really big file. And uh, that might be hard to work with. So keep that in mind. But uh, now we have our song we want to use. Now we need an image. Now, the thing is, we need an image uh, whose minute length is longer than the song. Uh, if it's shorter, n the whole song won't fit into the image, and when you edit it, things will be goofy. So, I, I found, honestly, it's uh, easier just to make a song, uh, make an image, and use that. And, and when I say minute length, I mean, literally, when you import the image into Audacity, you want the minute length to be longer than the song. So, uh, so go open up GIMP or whatever image program uh, you like using, and I just create a new image. Uh, so I have width a uh, three hundred and fifty, height uh, I, you know, you can see right here, a uh, thirty five hundred, height twenty five hundred, and I keep precision as eight int bit integer, and I keep the fill with transparency here. Uh, now this should be about just under five minutes. So feel free to use the same thing. You can play around with the settings uh, to get one that better fits the song you want to use. And then all you have to do is go export as. Uh, we want it as a bitmap image. Oh, that's very important. You want this as a bitmap.bmp. And for the settings, uh, this is important. Uh, I put this at 24 bits. I kind of picked that arbitrarily. I haven't really tested with the other ones. I just keep, I keep it at 24. And this is important to remember because when you're editing your song image at the end uh, and exporting it again, you want the settings to be the same uh, as the source image you used. So export and uh, now we can import raw data example. Now, uh, import raw data, and you're going to want uh, to go encoding EULA, byte order, little Indian, and two channel stereo. Now, uh, normally if you're just editing a picture, you can go one channel. I do two channel, just because since I'm working with a song, I figured it would work a little bit nicer that way. And now, as you can see, uh, we have just under five minutes. Specifically, uh, this one is four minutes, 57 seconds, and 620 milliseconds. Now, if you want to figure out how long minute length of an image is going to be bef uh, before you import it into Audacity, if you don't want to keep importing just to uh, see, there is a way to calculate it. I discovered this right here, uh, Colin Crawley's audio duration calculator. I found this on Google the other day. And what you can do is open up uh, your... Uh, you, you still need the image, but... Uh, open the image, get its uh, size, copy the size into here. 
uh, bytes, but then bytes. And then the only other thing is these will be the same 4.44.1 uh, kilohertz to channel stereo. And I changed bit depth to 8 bit. Uh, usually it's 16 bit. I keep it at 8 bit. And then as you can see right here, um, that is 4 minutes 57 seconds. So if you don't want to import your image every time, this is how you uh, can calculate it. It's based off of the uh, bytes, the actual file size of the image. Uh, and there we go. So the only other thing is uh, before you do anything, the uh, sample rate is important to pay attention to. So normally everything is 44.1, uh, 44.1 uh, 44 uh, kilohertz. But sometimes you'll import a song, like one I was working with the other day. Uh, Minutes Lament here. This one is uh, 32, not 44. And if you try and use this song, uh, if it's diff if the sample rate is different from the image, it's not going to work. It, it's not going to work. So what you, you basically need to do is just go to track, resample, uh, put it at 44.1. Now the uh, sample rate is the same, and you can it should everything should work now. Uh, we're not using this one today though. So now, uh, as I said, you basically want to clip out the header of the image uh, so that the computer thinks that the song is a picture. It should be pretty easy to find since we are using uh, a transparency. Uh, oh, I did the wrong thing. Since we're using a transparency, um, it's just this little part right at the beginning that looks a little bit different. Copy that. That's important. Don't don't cut it. Just copy it and paste it in the beginning of the song. The, now the last thing we need to do is uh, fill up this empty this space here. Now you want the song to be exactly the same length as the image you're using. If it's too short, it will break. Uh, if it's too long, again the whole song won't fit into the image and things will be goofy. So uh, just go to generate silence. And that should be fine. Uh, now uh, we should be good. Uh, the only other thing is now we can uh, exit this. Export. Export audio. You're going to want other uncompressed files. Uh, raw headless. Encoding new law. And name this what you want. Let's do. Block.bmp. Again, this is a, a bitmap image. You want a .bmp file. Save. Yes. Yes. And now we can... Here's the image. So you need to be careful with this. Uh, again, these images are really big. Uh, obviously, if you're working with smaller songs, uh, smaller source images, things should be fine. Uh, if things end up... The, but remember, these are songs, so th their file size is going to be really big. If you share them, if you upload the image to a file sharing site, like a Imgur or something, they will... Most sites like that don't recognize or just support bitmap images. They'll convert it to a JPEG and then compress the image because it's so big. And then, as a result, the song is broken. Like, you can try converting it back into a bitmap and listening to it, but it's going to be noise with a vague memory of a hint of the song that was originally there. So if you want to keep the song, if you want to listen to it again, uh, you need to keep it as a bitmap image. So now you can open the image, uh, open it in GIMP or whatever program you want to use. Oh, hold on a sec. This one. Uh, and here you go. You make all the changes you want. Now, one thing to note is that the songs are from bottom to top. So you can see up here, this is the silence that we added at the end. So this is the end of the song. And right here is the beginning. So if you want to clip out like the uh, beginning of the song and paste it uh, in front of another song, you uh, can cut it out like this. This is like the beginning of the song. And you can cut that out. And do that as you wish. Now, again, remember, when you export, you want to keep the settings the same as 
the export settings from your source image. And now you can import it back in to Audacity. Uh, you want two channel, little Indian, Eula. And there we go. So we'll, the last thing I will mention is that sometimes maybe if the settings weren't the same or some, if cutting and pasting was a little bit weird, sometimes when you import the image back in, uh, the song will be slower than it was before. Uh, if they, all the settings are the same, everything should be the correct speed. But sometimes the song is a little bit slow. If that happens, uh, you can go to change speed. Well, I have to actually affect change speed and then change it by 33.333%. I'm not sure why that is, but speed it up by 33.333% uh, and the song should be back to normal. Uh, I mean, I don't have to do that, but uh, if that happens, that's how you fix it. So, yeah, uh, and that's basically it. Uh, make all the edits and changes you want. I'm not sure really what the benefit of doing this is. Uh, I think it's really just to flex and say that you could. So, if you think of a cool way to use this, let me know. I will be glad to support that. But, uh, yeah, so have a great day. Happy glitch art or music editor or whatever you're doing. And, yeah. Uh, at the, so that's it for the tutorial. The last thing I'll do is perhaps show some of the images I have I have found. Uh, so here are some songs. You can see I used a different uh, image for this, uh, which I found were pretty interesting. So here, so we have some Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and credits, and here you actually see the some distinct differences what i think this is uh the end credits for zelda uh the song kind of changes every once in a while and i think these little bands are the different changes in the song uh but yeah as you can see everything looks kind of <sighs> staticky it's just basically static rock songs i think tend to be darker uh than like like happy songs. Uh, this is here's Mint's Lament. This is the one that gave me so much trouble. This is like a piano song. So yeah, um, have fun.